this is very normal. Hi, I'm Christian. Uh, if you're new here, and I definitely know you're new here, uh, welcome to the channel in my first video. If you're not familiar with PHP programs, the first two years are typically oriented towards classes, and they look a little bit like this. <coughs> and from third year onward, you're just dealing with research. You're done with courses, you're done with homework, you're done with qualifying exams. All that's left is the lonely, lonely journey of research. To graduate from a PhD program, you usually need to come up with three publishable ideas. You don't need to get these published in a journal per se, but they need to be developed enough where they could conceivably be sent off to be reviewed by your peers. Once you have these three ideas ready, you'll defend them in front of a committee of professors and they'll judge whether or not you've done worthwhile research. The committee members will now vote yay or nay, nay. You might be thinking, statisticians do research? I thought you guys just did t-tests or regressions. The Wikipedia definition of statistics is the discipline that concerns the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. But I think a better way of saying this would just be to say that statistics is the study of data. Data is a really vague and ambiguous concept, but you can think of it as just information. One problem that gets in the way is that data usually contains randomness not related to that information. And this randomness makes learning from the data harder. Let me give you an example. Like many others, I definitely gained a few pounds during the pandemic. Let's say that I want to record a starting weight so that I can have an idea of how much I lose when I actually start trying to diet and exercise and all that stuff. So I weigh myself once, 200 pounds. Later in the day, I weigh myself again, 199.5. But now I have two numbers? There's a lot of factors that influence my observed weight too. Water, food, digested food. They create randomness in my weight that makes it harder to characterize. But this is where statistics comes in. I can use statistics to peer past this randomness and try to create a good guess of my body weight. Body weight is simple because there is just a single number. Statistical research deals with more complicated types of data. One example that I've worked with a lot is physical activity. Let's say that this graph here is a physical activity on a rest day. And this graph is my physical activity on a leg day. I want to understand how a leg day changes my physical activity profile. I can make some descriptions just by inspecting it visually, but this gets harder and harder as I collect more days of data. The activity profiles of my rest and leg days could look different too, thanks to a bunch of factors. Randomness. There are models that can help me answer this question. If you're curious, I studied physical activity data using something called functional data analysis, if you wanted to Google or chat GPT it. What does my research look like? To have tried to avoid as much jargon as possible, the focus of my research is that I design experiments. Specifically, I design experiments that study only one person. These are known as N of 1 trials or personalized studies. Where am I at with my research? It's April 1st right now when I'm filming this, and I currently have two papers that are 80% ready. I don't know what my third paper will be about, so I'm doing my research every day to figure out what that might be. I thought it would be interesting to document this journey for people who might be interested in a PhD and might want to learn how you actually go about doing that. I told myself that my first video would be really short, so I'm not going to drag it out. Uh, if you'd like to see what I'm up to later on, then consider subscribing. Thanks and bye.